hi guys welcome in fsk new trading learning plus youtube channel so in this video we will do gold weekly deep analysis so first of all monthly time frame in monthly time frame you can see still prices go upward and we are in a bullish momentum but uh, right now you can see this pullback is still pending and if this monthly candle close right here there is very high probability that prices can go downward if this monthly candle close right here then it's a hanging man candlestick pattern so if you looking for a gold long term sell then just wait for a monthly candle close and when this monthly candle close at a 24 30 level 50 level then you can go for a sell your stop loss is above from this candle high and your take profit level is this low and this low so if you looking for a long term sell in a gold we see a first indication but right now this candle is still running okay maybe there is very high probability that like suppose this one is a monthly time frame if we go in a weekly time frame then you can see in a weekly time frame we see a same pattern hanging man candlestick pattern so in a weekly time frame you can go for a sell you can go for a sell but at a same time in a monthly time frame what you can do is like this one is a reversal pattern hanging man candlestick pattern it's a quick reversal pattern like a hanging man and a inverted hammer candlestick pattern it's a quick reversal patterns so what you can do is you can place a sell stop order below from below from this candle low okay and also like low is 64 and in a monthly time frame low is 58 level 58 level or 60 60 level so it's mean if you don't want to miss a sell trade in a gold for a long term then in a weekly time frame you can enter a sell but remember in a weekly time frame your stop loss is almost 500 pips and your take profit level is a recent low and this low and this low okay it's a first time ever in a weekly time frame in this whole bullish momentum we see a hanging man candlestick pattern but in a weekly time frame this pattern this pattern even this pattern appear at a support uh, even this pattern appear at a resistance level on a top on a high prices so there is very high high probability that prices can go downward but still still you can see this high it's still below from this high or this high so there is very high probability that we may see a candle like this like next weekly candle prices cross prices cross a previous weekly candle high give us a upper week little bit okay and then go downward and also there is very high probability that first prices go upward we see a upper week here and then prices go downward and the reason is let me try to show you in h1 time frame same pattern like if you join our previous stream where is a hanging man candlestick pattern in h2 time frame
see so so suppose this one is a hanging man candlestick pattern this one even though this is not a hanging man candlestick pattern but still you can say this one is a hanging man candlestick pattern prices go downward immediately but again prices go upward and cross a uh, this candle high just to hit a stop loss of a sellers and then go downward so same setup is we are expecting in a weekly time frame in a gold so we see a first indication for a sell in a weekly time frame so there is very high probability that prices can touch this low 2290 level and guys remember if you join our live stream you already know multiple times i already say before next fomc before they cut a interest rate there is very high probability that prices can break this low and attract a new sellers and when new sellers enter a sell trade below from this low then prices go upward so you can catch this selling move but don't enter any sell don't enter any sell below from this low below from this support level so if you enter a sell your take profit level your ultimate take profit level is this one okay for a next week before fomc okay so this one is our setup in a monthly time frame or in a weekly time frame so you can go for a sell your take profit level is this one and your stop loss is above from this high you have two options you can place your stop loss above from this candle high aggressive stop loss like your stop loss is almost 300 pips and 500 pips aggressive stop loss 300 pips and normal stop loss is 500 pips in a weekly time frame so let's analyze our daily time frame okay in a daily time frame still we are in a bullish trend prices go upward with a low higher low higher low higher low higher low and this one is our new higher low in a daily time frame at this support level we see a morning star candlestick pattern and also we see a new higher low so in a daily time frame our higher low is confirmed so you can go for a buy at a current prices your stop loss is below from this low and your take profit level is this one but remember in a daily time frame our setup is ready for a buy this morning star candlestick pattern is activate right now next candle is bullish candle and close above from a previous bullish candle high so this morning star candlestick pattern activate right now but according to our risk and reward ratio new entry in a buy direction in a daily time frame it's not favorable why the reason is this one you enter a buy at this level your take profit level is maybe this high this high and your stop loss is below from this low so you can see here our stop loss is higher and take profit level is very very small okay so what you can do is if you want to enter a trade based on this morning star candlestick pattern just wait if prices go downward little bit touch this level but never break this low remember never break this low you can go for a buy and then your risk and reward ratio is favorable like this same setup we see in a previous weekly analysis i say you can place a buy limit at this level see here prices go downward but never break and close below from this low 
we see a lower wick prices touch a buy limit and then go upward same thing we are expecting here prices go downward you can place a buy limit at a 2392 level okay you can place a buy limit at a 2400 level so prices go downward almost 300 pips down you you enter a buy at a 2400 level 2390 level and then you can go for a buy and your take profit level is 2475 level or all time highs okay and your stop loss is below from this low or below from this low so in a both conditions your stop loss is safe stop loss okay so in a daily time frame don't enter any new buy at a current prices wait for a little bit of retracement and then you can go for a buy but in a daily time frame our pattern is active so you can also go for a impulsive buy you can also go for a impulsive buy our candle is close above from a previous candle high so enter a buy here your stop loss is below from this candle low and take profit level is this one but again this trade impulsive buy it's very very risky why because we are not expecting a quick volume in a asian session and next week next week you can see monday there is no new high impact news there is no high impact news next week but tuesday we have a ppi core ppi we have a high impact news next cpi year by year it's very very important and they are looking for same numbers retail sale unemployment claims so next week we have a multiple high impact news but not monday okay so it's mean we are not looking for a quick reaction quick upward reaction but maybe after one day after two days when we see a high impact news then prices can go upward okay so if one day or two days if prices stay here if prices stay here then you can go for a buy but don't enter any impulsive buy in a daily time frame okay so if before news if prices stay here then you can go for a buy your risk and reward ratio is amazing here your stop loss is below from this level your take profit level is this high or all time high in a daily time frame so now let's analyze a market in a h4 time frame in h4 time frame still we are in a bullish momentum prices break this support level prices break this resistance level now this level became a support level prices retest and then prices can go upward so in a h4 time frame according to price section you can go for a buy your stop loss is below from this support level and your take profit level is this high or this high okay and even in h4 time frame if you join our live stream we see a series of inverted hammer candlestick patterns this one and this one we enter a buy prices go in our direction again next h4 candle is also close above from from this support level again we see a second inverted hammer candlestick pattern so you can go for a buy okay so now point is in daily time frame you can go for a impulsive buy in h4 time frame we see a inverted hammer candlestick pattern so you can also enter a buy whenever market open you can enter a buy but enter a buy with a very tight stop loss your stop loss is only 30 pips 40 pips 50 pips below from a previous h4 candle low because previous h4 candle is also a inverted hammer this one is also inverted hammer so if you wanna enter a buy you can enter a buy and your stop loss is 
80 pips okay based on inverted hammer candlestick pattern but if you want to enter a buy based on support and a resistance and based on price section then your stop loss is below from this low so you have two options you can place a 50 pips stop loss 80 pips stop loss and you can place a uh, 150 pips stop loss so bullish momentum is already done okay you can enter a buy in a h4 time frame your take profit level is 50 and 75 okay so now let's analyze our market in a h1 time frame in h1 time frame you can see prices uh, make a this low this low prices break a trend line so according to trend line there is very high probability that prices can touch a high of a trend line so you can go for a buy but see here here in h1 time frame prices break this uh, resistance level with a decreasing volume here prices prices show us a increasing volume but prices break prices break with a decreasing volume even though we see a increasing volume above from a support level so it's a bullish indication but break is break is not a, a real break okay so there is very high probability that maybe we see a quick downward move and prices cross this low and then go upward again so if you already in a buy then stay in a buy and manage your trade manage your buy trade but if you are not in a buy then if you're looking for a buy you can go for a buy but with a very small lot size proper and confirm buy is only if prices break this high with the increasing volume right now you can see in h1 time frame we see a increasing volume on this candle on this candle still you can see no candle is close above from this candle high and no candle is close below from this candle low so if you're looking for a confirm buy then confirm buy is only if any h4 candle is close above from this level 35 level with the increasing volume then you can go for a buy okay so this one is our volume study now let's apply a pivot on a chart so right now you can see we apply a monthly pivot because weekly pivot is not created daily pivot is not created right now so we apply a monthly pivot in a monthly pivot you can see prices cross a monthly pivot and close above uh, retest a monthly pivot and close above so there is very high probability that this month prices can go upward and can touch a r1 level which is our 25 15 level okay so according to a pivot according to a pivot you can go for a buy but your stop loss is below from this pivot so stop loss is almost 500 pips and take profit level is almost 900 pips or you can say a thousand pips but guys remember pivot it pivot is only a one tool and we see our pivot lines based on a price section okay 
like this one is a monthly pivot and these lines based on a previous monthly candle closing opening high and low we see a new information and our new information is hanging man and our new information is for a swing purpose for a swing purpose our new information is new weekly pivot but right now we do, we, we can't see a weekly pivot values you can you can calculate manually you can calculate manually like let me try to show you just wait a minute okay so here you can see i place a pivot values here weekly pivot values so our previous weekly candle high low close and open and when you click on a calculate then you can see pivot value is 24 17 so in a monthly pivot in a monthly pivot we are above from a monthly pivot but in a weekly pivot we are also above from a weekly pivot so weekly pivot price is 20 417 level so monthly and weekly pivot price is same so there is very high probability that next week prices can go upward so you can enter a buy you can enter a buy and your stop loss is little bit below from like pivot price is 17 level okay so you can place your stop loss at a maybe at a 10 level okay and take profit level is r1 so r1 price is 2471 level so for a next week our first target is 71 and second target is 11 level 2511 level okay and in case if price is close below from this weekly pivot close below from a 17 level 15 level then our target is 23 77 level okay so right now our monthly pivot and weekly pivot is align in a one direction for a buy so based on a weekly pivot or monthly pivot you can go for a buy but guys remember this pattern hanging man candlestick pattern it's a very powerful pattern okay so what you can do is like if you want to enter a buy if you want to enter a sell we have another plan and plan is just calculate a difference difference is 200 pips okay like when market open market will open at a 30 level and low is like pivot price is 15 level so it's only 150 pips difference it's only 200 pips difference so if you looking for a sell if you looking for a sell then you can place a sell stop order below from this level 15 level okay and your stop loss is above from this pivot and your stop loss is above from hanging man candlestick pattern so if any daily candle any h4 candle close below from this pivot close below from 15 level then our price section align and our pivot align and our volume is also align 
सो इट्स मीन इफ यू ऑन अ इंटरस सेल एंड ऑन अ बैकग्राउंड वी सी अंगिंग मैन कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न देन जस्ट वेट फॉर ओनली वन फिफ्टी पिप्स डाउनवर्ड मूव डोंट ट्राई टू कैश डोंट ट्राई टू कैश दिस हंड्रेड पिप्स मूव वन फिफ्टी पिप्स डाउनवर्ड मूव इट्स वेरी वेरी रिस्की इफ यू इंटरस सेल एट अ करंट प्राइसेस according to price section according to price section you can go for a sell but we also respect a pivot price is also respect a pivots and you can see a live example here a retest price is never go a single pip below from a pivot price just see here so if you want to enter a sell my recommendation is even according to a weekly time frame account to a monthly time frame my recommendation is sell is only below from this level okay i hope you understand all setups buy setups aggressive buy setups sell setups aggressive sell setups normal sell setups confirm sell setups and confirm buy setups okay so if any h4 candle or any daily candle close below from this level close below from 15 level then you can go for a sell and our price action our volume and our pivot align in a one direction then you can go for a sell okay so thanks a lot for see our weekly deep analysis gold week weekly deep analysis video goodbye